Before you enter the front entrance of the ideal smart home, you are greeted by technology. By installing other programs, add-ons enable users to increase the capabilities of Home Assistant. This video discusses your smart home will look futuristic with these five Home Assistant add-ons and integrations. Adding additional applications and add-ons allow users to expand the Home Assistant features. Home Assistant may be restarted without affecting add-ons, which are Docker containers that run independently. Consider programs you can execute in a Docker container, but can now access from Home Assistant and log configuration. These days, people desire to lead uncomplicated lifestyles. Let's examine these five Home Assistant add-ons that will contribute to creating a smart home. ESP Home With the help of ESP Home, a unique firmware binary can be produced after reading a configuration file. The configuration file is created using YAML, a simple data encoding language that can be used in any programming language and is frequently used to construct configuration files. If you've used Home Assistant for any length of time, you're already familiar with the language. This means you can change your default settings and customize your home to your own liking. There are several configuration files for each node, which is how we refer to the various ESP Home devices. SP Home supports many different sensors, which can all be set up using just a few lines of YANL code. Remembering which pin it is linked to is the only thing you need to remember. Oh, that is cool. Temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor would be connected using the 3.3V pin on the ESP8000, 266, or ESP32 board, and the GND pin to GND. The I2C pins can be coupled with the proper inputs to read sensor data. SP Home can push data to connected components and collect data from sensors. The WS2812B chip, for instance, can be used to control an individually addressable LED strip. From dot matrices to e-paper panels, ESP Home can drive a wide range of displays. Although the ESP Home add-on enables a wide range of displays, the Ad Guard can block requests and has other features we will discuss shortly. Ad Guard Home, a network-wide, open-source program called Ad Guard House gives you control over all network traffic in your home and the ability to block advertisements and tracking. Once configured, you won't need any client-side software for that. It will cover all devices connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Additionally, it offers a user-friendly online interface, so you may manage traffic from a mobile device with ease. By acting as a DNS server, AdGuard Home prevents your devices from connecting to tracking services by routing certain domains to a black hole. It is built of the same software that powers our open-source AdGuard DNS servers. The two have a lot of code in common. Although the AdGuard Home acts as a server and prevents tracking devices, the Freegate NVR also has exciting features such as rich media surfing and others that we'll discuss shortly. It provides any information you require about your network's DNS requests. It can also be used to block and unblock requests quickly. Now that is interesting. It restricts access to dangerous, fraudulent, and perhaps virus-infected websites, much like other AdGuard products browsing security features. It is entirely up to you whether to permit it or not. Another choice of mode. It will enforce SIG searches and prohibit access to websites with explicit and sensitive information when turned on. Freegate NVR to perform real-time object recognition for your IP cameras locally. Freegate is an open source program that uses OpenCV and TensorFlow. Freegate is available as an add-on for Home Assistant or as a Docker container. For the Home Assistant integration, you can use hardware acceleration such as Google Coral, your CPU, or a native custom component. The Freegate NVR Home integration offers rich media, surfing with previews and navigation, binary sensor entities, object motion, camera entities, live view, object detected snapshot, switch entities, clips, detection, snapshots, improved contrast, and support for several Freegate instances. Object detection add-on for the official Frigate NVR. A system called Frigate to get notified when the cameras around my house detect people, vehicles, or foxes. 
Frigate is a free to use NVR, which stands for Network Video Recorder, that can be installed on an old computer or a NAS using Docker or as a Home Assistant add-on. It uses AI running locally on your computer to make sense of what your camera is looking at and only alerts you when it's something you care about, not wind. It's not only an excellent add-on to experiment with on a gloomy Sunday afternoon, it also upgrades the cameras you already have. InfluxDB InfluxDB is a free, open-source time series database for high-write volumes. It helps gather measurements, sensor information, events, and analytics. Grafana is frequently used in conjunction with it to visualize the data, and it exposes an HTTP API. This system uses the Hypertext Transfer Protocol to communicate between two systems for client interaction. Talking about interaction, the only way you will keep seeing videos from this channel is by subscribing. Along with being pre-installed, this add-on also includes Chronograph and Capacitor. It offers a lovely InfluxDB admin interface for managing your users, databases, and data retention settings. It also permits you to use Data Explorer to look inside the database. Engine X Manager You don't need to be an expert in Engine X or Let's Encrypt to forward to your websites running at home or elsewhere using this project's pre-built Docker image, including free SSL. It can build forwarding domains, redirections, streams, and 404 hosts without knowledge of MGINX and has a beautiful and secure admin interface built on tables. Additionally, it offers basic HTTP authentication for your hosts, access lists, free SSL through Let's Encrypt, and advanced NGINX configuration available to super users. These features include user management, permissions, and audit log. A smart home may be set up quite easily by using physical wireless switches to control the lights and then with a phone. The installation of scenes, voice control, and intelligent scheduling will follow. Fabian Niemark says, The house becomes smart and now obeys every word. Everything is controlled more often by the smartphone, and the offer is simple. The primary objective of home automation is still to make a house more innovative and proactive. After setting up your smart house with add-ins and integrations, you'll need controls or a means to control how things are done. This is why we recommend our next video on the top 5 incredible home assistant dashboards and control panels.